Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Xiao Stuhl and this is another tutorial for modding space engineers. In this tutorial we're going to be covering creating a block categories file for sorting our blocks into their own tab within space engineers. And to do that all we have to do is create a simple SBC file similar to that of the cube blocks but different in a couple respects. All right, so opening up our mod folder and going into the cube blocks, you can see I pretty much have everything done here, and I've kept the component and build time similar to that of the vanilla model. I'm doing that because this is a more or less reskin of the original gyroscope. I also have a gravity generator up, which does pretty much the same exact thing. All right, so there's a couple important pieces of information here that we actually end up needing to grab as a result of what we're going to be doing, and it is the type ID and subtype ID, and I will show you how that's used. Going back to the folder and opening up the block categories, you can now see that it has the same bit for the most part up at the top. But instead of going to cube blocks and then a definition, it goes to category classes and then a category. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple small category for our mod. I have a category that I use for all of my stuff, so I'm going to use that format as well. And it's pretty much the same as this, except I have a specific display name and name that I use. So what I'm going to do in, to clean up the block categories file to make it ready for my mod is I'm going to select this second string here at the beginning of the line and then I'm going to scroll all the way down and at this last string I'm going to delete it. And what this does is give us the specific information for a single category. Now I'm going to clean it up so it matches all of my other formatting. I am using tabs, I am not using spaces. The devs use spaces but I feel like the tabs are cleaner. Alright so this is pretty much everything that you need for a single block in a single block category. What you can see here is that there is a type ID. If I go ahead and I open up the vanilla one, I believe there's only one type of type ID, but I could be wrong. I haven't messed with absolutely everything yet. So to search real quick, I'll just select this part and just go find all current document. Yep, so as you can see, the type ID is not going to change at all within the block categories and checking the subtype ID you can see that it doesn't change at all either. Going back to ours we have a couple important pieces here that we actually want to change and one is going to be the display name and the other one is going to be the name. Now the display name I'm actually going to make what I have for all my other blocks which is Xiao underscore corp I believe and then the name is a Xiao underscore corp. Alright so to confirm that I have the same one because a slight misspelling can actually make a difference. So I'm just going to go hop on to one of my others real quick and see that, yes, that is indeed the name I'm using. All right. So the display name is the name that the player will actually see inside of the game in the block menu. And the name is what is actually used to sort it in there. So you could use A or Z to sort it towards the top or the bottom. You're able to use a good portion of symbols, but please note that some of the symbols might actually cause issues. And I usually suggest sticking to numbers or letters for your personal usage. 
if you're going to make a whole bunch of blocks I personally suggest you have a single tab just for your stuff and not sort it into a whole bunch of different tabs however I also want to encourage you that if you're going to make very few blocks that you already use the currently available vanilla tabs that the devs provide to you that way the tab menu doesn't get gunked up with a whole bunch of tabs that you don't really need but because I have a lot of blocks I'm making a block category that is specific for my stuff alright so now we need to actually add a string now what this is is the type ID and subtype ID of the block so if we go into ours we can see that our type ID is gyro so I want to copy that and paste it here now the reason you do this is because if you just do the subtype ID most of the time it won't work there was a period where it was working without the type ID there but I believe that period has passed however people might run into weird circumstances that it actually still works however I suggest following this that way you don't actually run into any issues in the future if the devs make it more strict also you can see that I use the subtype ID and that it's prefaced with large and that's because it's a large block now if I wanted to add the small block to this I would actually have to add gyro slash small to it that way I can actually have both of the blocks show up in the tab menu now I could do that real quickly but for the purpose of this tutorial I want to keep it simple and stick to one block for you guys and that pretty much wraps up this tutorial we could add a block position but that doesn't actually affect this at all you can't actually move your blocks within your tab presently and if you're making a single block or a whole bunch of blocks it's very hard to try to sort your stuff against other people's stuff so I suggest just leaving it blank and allowing it to auto sort it will sort through the mods based on which one was loaded, for, loaded first and it, I believe it goes alphabetically or in the order of which the mod is loaded within the block files it might be based off of the cube blocks or it might actually be based off the block categories I'm not 100% sure because I have not thoroughly tested it but it's probably a safe bet that it will go based off of the subtype ID or block pair name of the block that you actually make or the position of which they show up in your cube blocks all right, so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one where we work on something else. Have a good one. Bye.